Let's begin with the breaking news out of China this morning. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken just departing Beijing after that high stakes meeting with China's President Xi Jinping. That meeting concluded the secretary's crucial two-day visit aimed at stabilizing the spiraling relationship between the two countries, upended recently by the downing of a spy balloon. And this tense encounter between a U.S. reconnaissance plane and a Chinese fighter jet over the South China Sea, plus there was that separate encounter with military ships. So let's discuss with our NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Frayer in Beijing right now, as well as NBC News senior White House correspondent Kelly O'Donnell, who's standing by in Washington for us. Janice, we know this meeting between Blinken and Xi lasted about 35 minutes, following hours of other discussions and meetings with other top officials. What have we learned about what was discussed and how it's being viewed there in China? Well, what was curious was that it was kind of down to the wire with the Xi Jinping meeting. Uh, officials had been coy for a couple of days, not confirming when or if uh, the Secretary of State was going to meet with China's president. But it did happen this afternoon. Uh, and from all accounts, it was a positive meeting, given the remarks that she made at the beginning and the statement that was put out at the end. Uh, I had the chance to sit down with the Secretary of State uh, after he finished his meetings, before he got on that flight, uh, to ask whether he believed that this visit accomplished what U.S. officials said he was setting out to do, to put a stop to the downward spiral uh, with China and to reset relations. This is what he had to say. It's a good and I think important start. Both China and the United States, I think, recognize that uh, we were in an increasingly unstable place in our relationship. I think this is um, the start of a process to put a little more stability into it. Both of us recognize that we have an obligation to responsibly manage the relationship. And that starts with communicating, with actually engaging across our government. And this was an opportunity uh, to do that, an opportunity to make very clear where our deep differences are and to have very detailed conversations about that, as well as to see if there are areas where, in our mutual interest, uh, we might actually cooperate. What the Secretary of State didn't manage to secure was the reestablishment of direct lines of communication between militaries. Uh, as we know, there have been some close calls in the sky and in the waters around uh, the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. Some very close calls, uh, dangerous tactics that are growing bolder. Uh, he was saying, of course, it's in the U.S. best interest to try to reestablish uh, those lines of communication. And it's also in China's best interest. Uh, he seemed to suggest that there were talks in the works, but he's leaving Beijing without those assurances that the U.S. and Chinese militaries would be able to talk to each other uh, in a bid to avoid uh, what they see as a miscalculation. And I just want to underscore the significance of this visit being the first time in five years a U.S. Secretary of State has gone to China. And Kelly, this is viewed by some as an important step toward a meeting between President Biden and President Xi. So how far are we from those two leaders meeting now? Well, we saw that uh, President Biden and President Xi did meet at the G20 in Bali last, uh, last November. And one of the issues is that President Biden likes to talk about the fact that he has a personal rapport with Xi Jinping because when each of them were in other roles in government in our respective two countries, they had met, they had spent time together, and they have a connection. And President Biden would like to leverage that personal relationship a bit more to address some of these issues issues. Uh, he has not had a phone call with him recently. Uh, none is planned at this point, and that comes up periodically when issues surface, like the Chinese spy balloon uh, that was shot down by the U.S. Uh, after days of traversing the country. Uh, also concerns about ongoing issues with Taiwan. President Biden's been very clear that the U.S. would militarily support Taiwan, which is a uh, a city-state island that operates under self-government but is a part of China 
A lot of concern about China showing more aggression there. Great concerns about things like China's influence with Russia with the war in Ukraine. Today, Secretary Blinken said uh, that there is an assurance that at a state level, the government of China is not going to supply lethal munitions to Russia for use in Ukraine. But he expressed concern that there could be private companies, different businesses within China that might be in some ways helping Russia. That's an ongoing concern. And there's always a worry about Americans who are detained in China and wanting to secure their release. So the issues are plentiful and uh, it is something where having a meeting uh, is going to be challenging and it's not, it does not appear it'll be anytime soon. Okay, we will keep watching. This is obviously just a stepping stone then in this relationship. Thank you so much, Janice Mackey-Frayer and Kelly O'Donnell.